Okay. So what about instead the diet that should be uh, used every day? So we, we've been focusing, I call it a five pillar system. I don't want to go through the, 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 all the five pillars, but I say, if you look at multiple disciplines in science and put it all together, epidemiological studies, study of centenaria, clinical studies, basic research, study of complex system, um, you come up, I came up with this and, and, you know, really reflective of hundreds and hundreds of studies. So the longevity diet. Uh, so other than what I just told you, this FMD periodically, maybe three times a year, um, the uh, uh, mostly plant-based diet, but you can be vegan and you can be very healthy, but it's not easy to be vegan and healthy. And so, you know, for most people, I recommend it's possible. So, uh, but for most people, I think eating fish uh, a few times a week uh, is recommendable. Um, and low protein intake, but sufficient, low but sufficient. So there should be about 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. So if you weigh 50 kilograms, it's about 40 grams of protein. If you weigh 80 kilograms, about 65 uh, grams of proteins. So, and the diet should be high complex carbohydrate and healthy fats. So the, the olive oil, the nuts, and then lots of vegetables, lots of legumes, um, high nourishment, omega-3, vitamins, minerals. This is very important that the body has all the nutrients it needs. And then uh, uh, 12 hours a day. So keep the food intake for 12 hours a day. Don't go much longer or much shorter. So stay right about, so 8 a.m., 8 p.m., 7 a.m., 7 p.m. So eat within those 12 hours and no, and not outside of the 12 hours. And then I say for people that are, uh, and that we're starting a large clinical trial of 500 people now in, in Southern Italy. And so for people that are overweight, obese, or, or tend to get there, have breakfast, uh, skipping breakfast is, is not recommendable. Always have breakfast plus either lunch or dinner and then substitute the, either the lunch or dinner with a small, let's say less than 100 calorie snack. It could be uh, fruit, uh, it could be a, 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 some nuts, um, it, it could be you know a small salad or something like that. Um, I, I think there's nothing wrong with the Mediterranean, but if you look at the meta-analysis of the Mediterranean, the, 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 change, the facts of mortality are small. You know, I think cancer is about 6% uh, lower um, uh, I think uh, um, uh, neurodegenerative disease is the highest one with about 13% uh, difference, you know, com compared to all kinds of controlled diets. So, uh, yeah, I think I don't think the Mediterranean diet goes far enough, but the Mediterranean diet, uh, if somebody sticks with, it also depends what Mediterranean diet we're talking about, right? But let's say a very sort of severe one that is being used by some of the studies that can be very beneficial. Uh, so this is based on our own epidemiological studies, both uh, our own and then those that we did with uh, with Harvard. And, um, and so it looks like it should be about 0 0.7, 0 0.8. So well, let's, let's put it in, in pounds, you know, 0 0.32, I think, to 0 0.37 grams of protein per pound of body weight. So if somebody weighs 100 pounds, there should be, let's say, at least 40 grams of protein. Uh, 40, 45, and if somebody weighs uh, 150 pounds, uh, now they could go to 65 um, grams. And there should be um, uh, pescatarian, so fish, let's say a couple of times a week, plus vegan. Um, and um, uh, But watching lean body mass. So it's good, you know, say once a year, go see somebody that can do uh, phase angle measurement and lean body mass uh, measurements. Make sure that you're not, you know, accumulating fat and losing muscle. Um, and uh, in which case, you know, then, then that level, I mean, not just the level, because the vegans, uh, about 20, 30% of the vegans are, uh, can be um, malnourished at the, at the amino acid level. They could have fairly high levels of proteins, but the amino acid composition, especially in the legumes, can be deficient in a, in a variety of amino acids. And... And so, um, uh, yeah, so those populations tend to be, uh, tend to be, uh, at least part of them, part of the vegans tend to be malnourished for protein. So, um, and there's a study that just came out showing hip fractures going up to an, about almost two and a half fold in vegans compared to, uh, uh, or at least the risk for hip fractures, two and a half fold in vegans compared to uh, the meat eaters, you know, just to give you an example. But the pescatarian, 
not the case at all. Small changes uh, in, in, I think, one type of fracture. And in most cases, there was a trend for lower fractures in the pescatarian group compared to the uh, meat eaters. You know. 